Welcome. On this video, we're going to be discussing two types of construction, the construction of congruent angles and the construction of angles bisectors. Let's start by looking at the idea of congruent angles. The word congruent, all that it means is equal. So if we want to construct a congruent angle, what we want to do is we want to use our compass and copy this angle and paste it somewhere else. We want to recreate an equal angle from the angle that we are being given, which in this case is angle ABC. So let's have that in our mind. All we want to do, we want to look at this angle and we want to replicate it somewhere else. How do we do that? We can think about this as a series of steps. So the first step, what we want to do is, let me move my compass here a little bit. My first step, I'm just going to create a line, just any, any line. It doesn't matter what the length is. It's just, let's just create a line somewhere on the right hand side of it. It doesn't really matter, matter the direction. Notice that I started my line in here. This is going to be the vertex of my new angle. That's it. That's the first step. We just create some line and the starting point. That's going to be the vertex of my new angle. My second step, what I want to do, I'm going to get my compass. And the metal leg, notice that I'm placing it on the vertex of the given angle. And this other leg with my pencil on it, I just want to open it far enough. And I want to create an arc. Now, it doesn't matter how far or how close you are from the vertex. Like we could have created this other arc right here. It doesn't really matter. So what the only thing that matters is that you are creating some arc in your given angle. Now, without changing the length of your compass, I want to do the same in my other angle that I'm creating on the right hand side. So without changing the length of my compass, all I'm going to do, I'm going to move it. But notice that the metal leg, it's on angle B. I'm going to place it on the vertex of my other angle, and I'm going to be recreating that same arc on my other arc. That's it. That's my second step. The last step is I'm going to go back to my given angle. Let me go back to it. And what I want to do, I want to measure the opening of my arc. So notice that my arc, it starts right here and it ends right here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get my compass. I'm going to put the metal leg in one of the points in there. And then I'm going to see the length of this arc. Notice that the way that I have position, positioned my compass, I'm starting it at one section of the arc and I'm ending it on the other section of the other arc. What I want to do, I want to give this same length to the angle that I'm creating on the right hand side. So I'm just going to get this and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to put my metal leg here and notice that I'm not changing the dimension. What I want for you to realize is that this length that we are given to my new angle, it's exactly the same length that we have in my other angle right here. Same length. And that's it. We are done with our steps. All I want to do, I want to get a ruler or a straight edge, and I want to connect the vertex to the intersection that we have gotten from here. And that's it. This new angle that we are creating here, let's actually give a name to it. Let's call this angle F E D. Angle A B C is congruent to angle F E D. So let's do this one more time. First step. Just start by creating some line. It doesn't matter what the length is. And the beginning of this line is going to be the vertex of my new angle. That's it. Second step, let me get my compass and I want to create some arc. Doesn't really matter how far you are. I'm going to make it over here. 
let's replicate this arc on my new angle. So let's replicate it. There it is. Second step. Let me measure the length of this arc. So starting from here and ending over here. And I want to give the same length to the arc that I'm creating on the right hand side. So put it here and give that same length. And that's it. We're done. Because now if we connect the vertex to the intersection, we have created a congruent angle. Now let's talk about the idea of an angle bisector. How can we construct an angle bisector? Well, we are being given this angle ABC. What we want to do is we want to construct some line that cuts this angle in half. Now, how do we do that? Well, there's really just three steps. So first step, I'm going to get my compass, the metal leg, I'm going to put it on vertex B. And I just want to create some arc. So again, it doesn't really matter how far your pencil it's away from the vertex. You just want to put it you know, some, some distance. I think that's fair. I mean, you could have done it all the way over here or here or here. Doesn't really, doesn't really matter how far you are. I'm just going to create it some length around here. So that's it. First step, it's done. I just want to create some arc. Second step, I'm going to put my metal leg at the beginning of that arc. And I just want to measure more than a half. That seems to be fine. I mean, half, half of this arc, it's around here. All I want to do is just measure it a little bit more than a half. I think that's fair. So there it is. What we have done here, we have measured more than half the length of this arc. And what I want to do with this measurement is I want to create some kind of a mark on the right hand side. So let me actually put this in, in blue. Let's, let's make the marks in blue. There it is. Using this same length that we have to create the blue mark. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move my metal leg and now I want to put it at the other edge. And using the same length that I had before, I'm going to be looking at the intersection of those two arcs. And at this point, we are done. Because if we connect the vertex to the intersection, this line or this ray, should I say, this ray that we have here, let's give it a name. Let's call it ray, um, I don't know, E. So let's say that ray BE cuts angle ABC in two equal parts. So let's do this one more time. The idea of an angle bisector. First things first, let's start by just creating some arc. And again, it doesn't matter what it is. So let's just create some arc. That's it. Second step, let me measure more than half the length of this arc. There it is, more than half. That seems to be around there. So using this measurement, let me create a mark over here. And using this same length, let me just move it to my other end of this arc. And I want to look for the intersection of those two. So there it is. Now, if we connect the vertex to the intersection, this blue line or this blue ray can be defined as an angle bisector because it cut angle ABC in two parts. Not just two parts, but two equal parts. And with this, it concludes our lesson for the construction of angle bisector and congruent angles.